This is a Molinia. It's used to prepare chocolate drinks. But if you're a researcher who's never had the joy of using one to prepare a cup of hot chocolate, you could mistake it for something else. From the Philippines, a Spanish shipwreck from 1600, they identified this as a bedpost. <laughs> well, I, I guess I can see the resemblance yeah. between it. Dr. Russell Skoranek and Dr. Margaret Graham, professors at the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, wrote about the misidentification in their paper, Chocolate on the Borderlands in the New Spain. I prepared intensely for the interview. And I brought some visual aids. Right now, uh, about 70% of the world's chocolate is being produced in West Africa. We were curious about certain artifacts that we were finding on the in the archaeological record and in the documentary record, and the artifacts were specifically associated with the making of chocolate. One of those artifacts was a chocolatera, which is a jar used to prepare chocolate. They're very distinctive, so when you're in a museum now and you see that shape, you know it's a chocolatera. Long before anyone talked about there being coffee shops or tea shops, there was chocolate. Historic archaeology is oriented towards the English experience here in the Americas, and the Spanish experience gets a little bit less of attention and thinking about, well, maybe these cups that we thought were teacups are actually chocolate cups. And so we need to kind of re-look at that, the, that evidence as well and think and maybe recast it and rethink about right. it a little bit um, in light of chocolate versus tea. It was truly the first international beverage as we, as we think of it today. When we see it put together, we see the chocolate from Mesoamerica, uh, cinnamon from Southeast Asia. Sugar originally, though, is comes out of the area of Pakistan and India. So these are our boats. There so are I our guess boats. we could put so those that that's right. Right. Chocolate and the cinnamon are being carried over to Europe. And then if you want to put milk in it, some people don't like that. That's obviously a Northern European thing, but you mix it all together. That's what people are consuming today. This is the most delicious map I've this ever seen. This is the greatest map in the world. And the global economy was born in the 16th century. It did not happen in the 20th century. So it's pretty cool. But the important lesson is this. Whether you use a Molinia or a whisk, don't forget the froth on your hot chocolate. In both pre-Columbian and in later time periods, if you didn't have a froth on it, it was no good. <laughs>